Hey guys, welcome back to, well, if you've read the title, which I hope you have, a FIFA video. And I did release a video a little while ago saying I wouldn't do any more FIFA because of like copyright reasons and stuff. But I figured out how to get around them. I realised uh, what it was was the music. Um, and I've turned all the music off. Um, so I can now do FIFA again, yay. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more of these to fill the void for Weapon Wars because there's been a complication with Weapon Wars and the recording and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to get that sorted as soon as possible. But I know some of you like FIFA and I know some of you don't. I also know that I haven't been particularly reliable with my other FIFA video videos with the creamers like the Union and the Three Leagues Challenge one. The Three Leagues one, which I never actually said, I don't think, was um, my sister, or I might have said it and just not said this. My I let my sister go on my PlayStation and she accidentally deleted it. So it wasn't the best um, thing. And with the Union one, it got corrupted and I couldn't do it anymore. So, that were, they weren't my fault. Apart from maybe the, the last one might have been my fault. Um, but I made a new one. Yay. And it's going to be Sevilla. Now, my goal with the spray mode is to get them to win the Champions League within well two seasons really. And actually challenge for the, for the uh, La Liga title. Just because um, they're known as... A cup team, really. They they're only really known for winning the Europa League year after year after year. I want them to change. I want them to become like global superstars. And for that, uh, I've got a few transfers which I will go through in a minute. But first, we're gonna have a look at the budget. So we have twenty five million with one hundred and sixty grand in the wage, and we're gonna have a look at the um, stuff first. Then emails and stuff which we don't really need. <laughs> No matter what they want us to do in the cup, they want us to reach the round of 16, so they don't really have a high expectation, really. European International Cup, oh, that's the uh, preseason tournament. I've got Gladbach, Palace, and Porto. Uh, league objective, they want to uh, qualify for the Champions League, that is my objective as well, but I should be able to do that from winning the Europa League. Uh, oh, sorry, no, I'm not even in the Europa League anymore, am I? I'm in the Champions League this season. So yeah, just win the Champions League. I forgot about that, so I could win that in one season. I will obviously carry on and try and make them become better for a couple of seasons, probably. Um, da, 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 first Garrett for we should look for a striker. I agree, and that is why these are my transfer targets. So, my shortlist. There are, if there's uh, one, possibly two, generic signings on my transfer list, just because I need it. Dragovsky, nearly everyone who plays FIFA knows this guy. Brilliant, brilliant prospect um, on FIFA. He has actually got an excited prospect next to his name. I think he's got a potential of 88, I think. And he's seven, only 17 and he's a goalkeeper from a really low club. I think they're in Poland, called Jagalonia, or something like that. Um, so you can get him really cheap. Al Sharani, which some of you might be thinking, why is he getting this guy? What's he doing on the list? Well... If you play Ultimate Team, you'll know he's an absolute beast there. He recently got a Team of the Year. Team of the Season, sorry, not Team of the Year. And he's only 23. He's a right back. And if I'm right in thinking, I think he's 75 rated at the minute. And 81 potential. Which you... My right back at the minute, I have two. And both of them... Are, one's 28, one's 29. And both of them are 80 or below. So this is going to be one more for the future, but he can still fill the gap if uh, they get injured or something. Ebenezer Rafori, if you watched my only free league challenge video, I'm still so salty about that. You'll know this guy is an absolute beast. He's only 72 rated at the start of career mode, but he, he's got a potential of 80, but he always, I think he's glitched because he always seems to get over that. But he's 20. He does, I always forget his name's Ebenezer, but he's... he's he is an absolute beast. All of these are getting scouted just to make sure I've got their ratings right. Al Mualad, or whatever, however you say it, I'm just going to call him Al. Um, he, not a lot of people know him. I didn't know him until I found him on Foothead um, earlier when I was looking through some people to sign. This guy looks really good. I think he's 70 rated at the minute. He recently got a team of the season as well. He is rapid. I literally mean, I mean rapid. Plays on the left, and um, we already have a really good left midfielder in Conor Plianka. Um So he will be a backup to like a future option, pretty much. But he is, does he have... He doesn't have excited prospect or anything like that. 
but he's got decent potential. He only goes up to 76, but I think, we, obviously, with training as well, I can get him to at least 80, and I think he could be really good for the future. And, of course, as you probably see at the bottom, the big name on this list, Mbainayang. Nearly everyone knows who this guy is from past FIFAs, football managers, whatever you play. Um, he's still only 20, which really, really shocks me, because I remember signing him on, like, FIFA 13 and stuff when he was, like, 17. Um, at AC Milan... I need a top class striker and Nyang is technically better than the striker I've already got I think or he might be just worse uh, rating wise but the striker I've already got Kevin Gamero and Laurente I think I have as well they're getting on a bit so Nyang's only 20 and he's almost at their rating anyway so he's quicker he's, he's about as strong he would be he's my main target really him and the Fori I think and probably Dravos Dragovski are the main people I want. I should have enough to afford all of them, um, but don't quote me on that. So we're gonna get, we're gonna start put some training on. So add session. Who are we gonna put? See, Gamero's twenty eight. Lorente is thirty. Uh, so they're not the best for like a, a long career mode. That's kind of Bianca, he's a beast. Um, who are we gonna put on? Ooh. Christopher, I'm gonna definitely gonna put on because he's a bit of a career mode beast. Uh, add a drill for who else to put on? Kotan maybe. Kolasiak. That's I'm just gonna say it like that. I'll probably snort slaughtered snorted slaughtered his name, um, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Figueras. I didn't see this guy actually. Oh, so I do have another right back. He's still. Oh, this guy, I think him and Al Shirani. Al Shirani's dropped down a bit now in, uh, in my mind of who I want to sign first because I didn't realise we had this guy. So we're going to train this guy up a bit more. Um, and then, for goalkeeper. Thanks, Mum. Can you close the door, please? Thanks. That was my Mum giving me a lunch. For goalkeeper, Rico. You might be wondering why have you got Dragovsky when you've got. Rico, he's 77 rated, he's only like 21 or whatever he is. I only have him, really, because Beto, even though I keep, for some reason I missed him, on, I knew he'd played for Sphere, but I missed him on the team. He's 33, so he's going to be retiring pretty soon, and he is only 78 rated. So Dragovski is the main goalkeeper for me, and then I think actually we're going to put on Kotan just for the last one. And then, no, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Right, I'll have to do this one training. And then... <laughs> no. Why? See results. F. Yes. Simulate all. So. Not bad on the other ones. Not brilliant, but not bad. So... Now we're going to get into our first game. Okay, so just before we go into our first game, this is the team. We have Gamero up front, Benega, who is away on international duty at the minute, as Cam, he's probably going to be my main player with Conor Fianca, who plays on the left, Krachowiak there, and Zonzi, Vitolo, Koke, Rami, Rico, Cariso, Tremulinas, Laurente, Ibora, Reyes, Fazio. Beto, Escudero, and Maranio. And then Condelli, Kolodziak, Figueras, Adria. Oh, Adria, I didn't see him either. How was he? That was 29. I thought he was going to be younger. Perea, Cristoforo, Moyels, Sanchez, Matos, Sh does that, uh, Shved, Cotan, Fernandez, Ivi, Lasso, Soria. That is the team we've got at the minute. And whilst uh, I was like skip into the first game we got our champions league objective and they said they want us to reach the quarter final so we obviously want to surpass that surpass that but at least we know if we do if we get to like semi-final or the final and we lose we won't get sacked hopefully unless we do shockingly in the league and cup um but let's get in. okay so we are going to be playing on world class this will be the only game we play in the uh, preseason tournament apart from the final if we get there just get a feel of the team for if we do get to the final and as you can see, Crondelli's coming for Benega because he's, as I said before, on international duty with... Who's... 
Argentina, I think he is. So we're going to get into the match. Uh, we are playing at El Libert. No, we're not because it's not in Spain. I don't think. I don't even know where we're playing. Okay, welcome so to the start of the, the European Old International Cup, Cup in England. the first group stage um, game of this pre-season yeah. tournament. Yeah, and these tournaments much more of a big deal these days, and the fans certainly play a bigger part. Our main game today features severe. By the way, if we win Pucks. this, we get about seven it's uh, the point five million. In the group stage, so that's first help match. With, um, yeah, a lot of stake and a lot of preparation gone into it. Could be a good one, this. This is the so we banged the formation we saw earlier. Coke starts with Benoit, uh, Trey Moulinas, um, the wide pass, defenders. Which Steven I'm playing for a long time. Starts with Gregos Krikoviak in the centre of the so park. Kevin Gamero is good. the lone striker today. Well, I'm just running back. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Tyloo is not my fault. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Definitely fault for making a play too much. Keeping the ball moving, that's important. Nope, good save. Oh, save uh, how he got that much power on the save, I've no idea. He got floating. And the descent regained possession here. Well done, skinned in the face. There we go. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, it worked. Cheeky one, two. Go inside. Play the ball, play the ball. That's a good idea with the pass. Yeah. What? Co oh my god, Conor Plianka. Conor Plianka, how do you miss that? How? Oh my god. That is so frustrating. Well, it's been crazy this one here in Europe, of course. Fresh in the best two. That's why I played for Jenka. Be a little bit fitter than the others. Well, Quan Dennis just torn him apart. But that was the worst finish I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to be recording two um, today. Probably releasing two today if I can. Just because it makes it give me motivation to do another one. Hopefully, anyway. Nil nil at half time, not brilliant. We're going to swap it up just so we can get a feel for the whole team. So, Vitolo is going to come off the Reyes. I'm going to keep Condelli on just because he's been playing well recently. Um, Escudero can come on for Tremulinas. And Lorente can come on for Camaro. Hopefully, we can get a few goals in this game and not lose. There we go. Ooh, we can do not let them score. Do not let them score. Good tackle. No. Very much in free kick oh, territory. Oh, that was a penalty then. Oh, I almost just. Well, we don't like to see Red. that in the game. Maybe What's just missed timing. I could have sworn he got the ball. I'm, I'm not well, that bothered. I could have sworn he got the ball. He looks okay, but I mean, it was a potential leg breaker that. Okay. The kind of challenge you just do no, not want to see in the game. It was my fault for going in. Just hope they don't score me. Can't make the subs either. That's a bit stupid. Good block, get it out, on get it out. Foot now. They've got the there. corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. I always seem to give away a penalty in that first right. game. Escudero. Escudero, nature, skill. Getting ready. Escudero, oh, yeah. Boom. And again, nature. Moves everywhere. Now. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. That's Win the free kick. Escudero did brilliant. They'll get a free kick for that. Fake That's going to be a yellow card for this player. He can't have any complaints. Right. I do believe we have a free kick of the master in the main. Oh no, Conor Tanker is kind of gone. is 83. What are we doing? I've got Conor Tanker back here. I'm going to go for it. No. That was the worst free kick ever. And they're ready to go. It's as if they've that, got a second win. I swear there's like going up. given yeah, the really defending, the opposition, the uh, sorry, like extra pace when you're winning the ball. I swear that's what they're doing in 16. So it's, no! Damn it. Stop talking. I always seem to get caught by that. And that's really annoying me now. That is really annoying me. Oh, we, we need to get a goal. But that is the end of the game. Sadly, we have lost one. Okay, so that last game didn't go too well. I still have no idea how Conor Plianka hit the post um, with the open goal. But we're going to go straight in and put an offer in for Drogovsky. And I'm going to offer 3.5 million, I think. So, let's hopefully they'll accept that. And yes, you can see he's only on 1k a week for a goalkeeper that goes up to about 88, 87 rated. That is incredible. So you could technically have you if you manage that team, you could technically have him for four years 
by which time he'd probably be what 83 84 rated maybe a bit lower on 1k that is ridiculous but we're going to offer 3.5 million um why do i have a feeling we're not going to win that pre-season tournament anymore but we're also going to go straight in and put an offer for in for and buy niang and i think we're going to offer 6.5 i was going to offer 12 something but if he says he's worth between six and seven we're going to offer 6.5 which should be okay. And then we're also going to put an offer in for a Thori, just because he's a beast. And then we'll leave these two full scouts. As you see, sprint speed is ridiculous. He doesn't have the best stats at the minute. Uh, Al Sharani does have some really good stats. But yeah, Al Moala, to whatever his name. I'm going to call him Al, as I said before. Al doesn't have the best stats, but he grows into a beast. Now just look at those stats. Look at that. And he is what? Right, okay, yeah, just look at that, look at his, just his technical stuff as well, is brilliant for a centre, 20 year old centre mid, that no one's ever heard of, and he plays really cheap, so let's just go in and buy him, right, how much do we can offer, I'm going to offer 2.5 million, and I think it'll be a bargain if they accept that, and then we're going to sim the rest of the games and wait for the other two scout for to come back, okay, so, yeah, not the best starts for me in that friendly. Um, what? Right, okay, we're gonna sim this one game against Porto. We're gonna wait. What? Fix bro. Oh yeah, because Coke has been suspended, isn't he? You moron. Right. Figarias, we're gonna put on. And then we're gonna sim this next match against Porto, which I have a feeling we're gonna lose, which means that we are out of the competition. I think. Uh, which will not be the best start. So we're just going to skip it. Yeah, we lost 1 0. So, what? I don't really know. We technically can still. If we beat Gladbach, Gladbach and Palace beat Porto, which I don't see happening, we could go through. But I'm just going to sim the Gladbach game anyway. But we have some. Wow, both transfer offers were rejected. Um. International management, blah de blah, blah. Transfer offer for Kevin Gamero. No, I'm not going to let him go just because I need him. Um, along with, wait, they want 5 million for a 4 a Let's offer 4. And then, oops, not 4, but one 4. And then we're going to offer, well, we'll see what. Too valuable to them. Okay, so we're going to offer, what should we offer? 3.5 plus Perea's not brilliant. We could offer him offer them that. Um, who is really really old? Beto, we could offer them. That would make sense. And then if we put that down to what one million, because that means we save a bit of wages as well. Let's try that. I don't think Beto will go, but we can try it. Um. So, yep, we need to beat Gladbach stay in the competition, blah, 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 blah. All the scout reports are back. That is good. And AC Milan have accepted 6.5 for Niang. Wow. Okay, so, we're going to put important first team play. 75 rated, not what I thought he would be. I thought he was going to be 78, 79. Uh, but let's have a look at all the scout reports. Okay, so Niang is obviously 75. That's not what I want to do. I'll go into my shortlist. Okay, so who do we have? Trogovsky, 71 rated at the minute, which is still really good for a 17 year old. Um, Al Shirani is 75, as I said. His stats are pretty solid all around. Uh, Four is 73, actually. I thought he was 71. Um, but he's just got brilliant stats. They're just mental. Just ridiculous. Look, if I go like that, just amazing. Al Moal, whoa, he's not even 17. I thought he was 70 on, it's the sad 70 on Foothead, but it's 67. His stats aren't brilliant, his physical stats are pretty good, but you can also, you can always train them up as well. So I wonder whether he'll be like, I don't know, because he's only worth 700k, so he could sign him just as a bit of a backup, and then obviously Niang is 75. So I think what we're going to do is put an offer in, on a, I'll see how these offers go through first, and then we'll see how it goes, okay? So, um, 
let's go and sim the next game. Oh, we've got... Oh, no, it's just an update from Italy. Oh, I hate those scouting updates. Right, sim match. Hopefully we can win. Right, we won 1-0. We've got to hope that Palace beat Porto. Which I don't think has happened. Nope, we're out. Transfer offer unacceptable. They want five, They really want that 5 million. Okay, we'll just give them 5 million for Fori. I think it's worth it, even if uh, people watching it don't. You'll see how much of a beast he is. Nyang has accepted the contract. That is good news. So, and by Nyang, welcome to the club. Uh, what else is... Oh, they've accepted the offer for 1 million plus Beto. He only wants 15k. That is ridiculous for a 17-year-old goalkeeper who becomes the best goalkeeper in the game. Okay, um, what we get, squad rotation play, we're going to offer him. Hopefully that's enough. Um, I hope it is. Current prize money, 1 million, not brilliant. Yep, um, didn't reach up to the expectations, but that doesn't really matter. Suspension over for Koke, and then new signing arriving in Mbainang. Hopefully it will fire us to Spanish glory. Um, but I think we're going to keep going until we get the word back in the other transfers. And then the first league games will be in the next episode. Okay, so we have some excellent news. Dragovsky has accepted the contract on a squad rotation uh, role. So we also, I think we save a bit on, um, what's the word? Wages, that's what I was trying to think of. Because we got rid of Beto as well. And I think that's a really good deal for Jaggi Alona in the short term. Because Beto is still a really good goalkeeper. But he isn't 33. In the long term, obviously, it would be better to keep Dragovsky because he grows like 87 rating. Um, sizable price tag. I wouldn't say so. I think that's a really good deal for us. Um, but now we're going to go and see whether we get... Okay, so they have accepted the offer of 5 million for a 4 He wants 30k, which I will... Not quite happily, but I will give him. Um, and then I'll put squad rotation player. Hopefully he'll accept that. Uh, I think he will because he's coming to a much bigger club. But, um, yeah, we should find out soon. We have some more brilliant news. It's not the update from Italy. It is that Afori has accepted his contract. Welcome to Sevilla. Hopefully you'll win some, a few trophies and be a good servant to us. Uh, we Obviously, new signing. Also in talks with Hellas Verona. Oh, we've already signed him, so it doesn't matter. Uh, found all this doing Spain, whatever. So we're going to mix up the training now. Instead of putting in Figueras, delete, we're going to put in Nyang to get him a bit better, like boosted up and stuff. And instead of Rico, get out, we're going to put in Dragovsky, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about right. Then hopefully they can all grow pretty quickly. And then we can use them in the next game. Because Dragovsky is still brilliant as soon as you get him in FIFA. He's still really good goalkeeper. He's a bit like Berkey where he's a bit OP even though his rating's not brilliant. Um, so, that is going to be all for this episode. Um, we will see you, well I will see you, sorry, in the next one. Bye.